Welcome back to Eye to Eye with Dennis Hall. Dennis, we are about to embark on the Gaia experience. This would be 85. I made it 85 no, yeah. no, the first series of Gaia in 85, Sprang Alang had not been invented. You were the um, correspondent from Southland. You were, we would come to you to get um, news of what was happening in yes. the South. Yes. Um, I, I have to table or, or, or record the, um, what happened after the first two of these. Uh, I got a phone call from the general manager of TTT who said, get that man off my TV. Yeah, I remember Holly B. told you say I wasn't talking television English. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot speak, he's ugly, yeah. and I want him off my TV. Well, what we did was invent Sprang Along. Yes, well, we, 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 we were toying with that we need a quiz thing. Yes, yeah. People had to know what to say. Yeah. Uh, actually, we were exploring ways and means of teaching people about itself. Right. That was the thing. And Tony and them did go a conference down in Lyons, and they went with a cough and come out of cough. So we said we're going with the cough, but we can't go with the cough because, well, now self they go for three up. They go <laughs> point to self and say it's a cupboard. And we started working on how it started, and, and I was trying to say, well, where you need a man to do this and a man to do that. And we were getting nowhere. I said, this is how it had to do. And they said, ah, we're going to take that. And put me in this hot seat, I had to walk out of the Come out with the power. Yeah, and, and but I was, I, was, I was grateful that I had to talk normal. Well, that was the thing. I had that problem in Canada when I went to do the series, you know, Lord We'll talk Mercy. about that in a minute. All right. I want to talk but about the, the language thing, which is something that Practically everyone has to go through once they, 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 they deal with Gael or Banyan or whatever it is. Yeah, it's to, move, to move from the English to the, to vernacular. the, to the vernacular. No, but I think once you... Once you but you I, have a recently I was looking back at all that first series and, and, and from the first you gradually started to relax and the, uh, you became, after a few, you, you know, you were back almost in the vernacular but sprang along called for the vernacular. Right, exactly. That was saying so that, that I get comfortable in the thing. I straight was, I off. enjoyed myself. But not only that, Dennis, the whole idea of Spranglang, the whole idea of, um, of you, um, as I said in the opening about um, uh, demonstrating the, the creative possibilities of the language, the way in which you play with language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah um, was... how, you think that that has anything to do with your father's uh, Latin or his well, interest in language? It do, well, it had to do with Latin. And it, it meant not so much Latin. But the way you take, you take words and... How you put them together. Yes. Yeah. Um, like original Latin words and, and right. so on. Um, on top of which, my father was Bajan. Right. So he used to pronounce things funny as Bajan. Right. And you understand the thing. Because my mother always say, Mike, you can't talk so much on the children. <laughs> so that we mix that. Plus two, there was an old fella... Um, a fella did I got a stroke or something we should talk funny right. and then there was Patek who used to come and them had a whole way of talking so I mix all the things that I meet and, and end up with, with this with this nice I used to song nice I mean I was quite happy using it and so on and it was a sign that I was illiterate to, to people who find we should be speaking English right. I say, but I understand it's a different language Right. Therefore, I could create within my vernacular a kind of English. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that was the thing. But I, I think it, the, the, the songs around us were East Indian, old East Indian people, um, the, 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 the Chinese man in the parlor, the, the, the Patek, and, and a fella. There was a Patek? fella. Patek? What is Patek? Patek is the people who used to sell. Oh, and those yam, what a good hey, simple, Patek, Patek, yeah, Patek, uh, Pat uh, yeah, I know it's a French, hey, Patek. French Creole, yeah, a, yeah, 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 so that all that mix up, plus there was a fellow who used to clean yard around them, Kuda Raja, Kuda Raja used to drink a lot of rum, and always have a lot of TH in him out, so, and he was a fantastic, he used to give stories too, and he, you know, talked, and, and use a switch from proper English to the vernacular and so on. So I learned from them old fellas. Plus two, Saga the Barber had a way to use a switch. And in, in, in the 60s, eh, most of the people used to switch from proper English to the vernacular comfortably. And then it had people talking Patwa, and Patwa does discuss it making hot. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and it making coal instead of right. coal or it hot, you know. Right. So that, that all them things come in, and I just say, well, I find something nice. I right. start to talk. So, what, what what would you think is um, what is the relationship between Sprang Alang and Dennis Hall? Um, I think the, the, the content I was saying really, um, the, the wanting to teach something with, with Sprang Alang. But Sprang Alang was a character. And, and you need a character so you could hide it. Well, it wasn't really Sprang Alang, was it? No, it was culti Draxi. It was cultural Sprang Alang uh -huh. was the segment. Yeah, Draxi. You, Draxi was the person. Yes, but because I come out of Kaufman and so on. Yeah. And we get, I get it Draxi from Derek Walcott. Right. That time, Raphael was doing things up in, up in, Belmont. in, up in Belmont. And they had a midnight show. And it, sitting down in the car with Derek, Derek said, yeah, Dracula, boy, Draxi, Draxi is the man. And that's where I get the name from. But sprang along is a, is, a, is a term, well, is a, is a term of indulging mm -hmm. in, in, in illegal, and illegal and things. things. And I get it from basketballers from Point. It's the first set of people I hear this because, boy, we went to the wedding and they get, they get punching and they get thing. And the, the head was sprang along. <laughs> and I said, well, culture sprang along, which was addling your brain with culture. Right. That is how, that is how right, they made right. it happen. And the word stuck became the case. Well, the young. one didn't know. Yeah. They would have no Draxi, they would have no cultural, but they didn't know Sprang Because mm -hmm. right. Sprang wasn't, wasn't, wasn't a full term. No, you, 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 you made it. I bring, um, it, I bring, it, from, bring it from, um, yeah. bring it from, from, from the point, point, from the point basketball. But what, what is, as I say, I just want to, uh, Sprang along the person, the Draxi, the, the character you played, how, what's the relation the, between the, that character and you? And you? Me, well, um, it's a way to hide, eh? Mm -hmm. It's a way to hide. Um, remember, parallel to that, I was collecting Calypso and, and looking yes. at things are wrong and, and trying to find I out. I forgot to mention what, in the intro what Bush, that you are what, what, what Bush enthusiastic archivist. Yes, yes. Um, of, of and and, I, and I learned, I learned um, one of the things that you're either a collector or you are the archivist. That is, I don't simply collect. The Calypso. I listen to them and try to analyze them, so that I could sit down, hold a conversation about a Calypso or something. There's a difference between a collector and a, and a, a curator, then, right. in that sense. Right. So that when I was doing that, um, I was also doing the 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 the, um, the thing in the bowl and so on. Mm -hmm. So that you needed, at some point in time, you had to be serious, and sprang along was a very colloquial fellow discussing culture and so on. So you had to take the information you get when you were serious and put it in a way that people would want to learn something from you. You had to work out a method for people to want to learn from you. That, that to my mind is how Sprang Along, I mean Sprang Along is, is like four million miles away from Dennis Hall really. You know. Why? What because, because. What's the distance? They don't, you, you really, as Dennis Hall, nobody will listen to you because right. they get serious and they get heavy because they, they, they call your people and do the right thing. Uh, but as Sprang Along, you could then go on stage and turn it up. Right, <laughs> you know? right. So that it is, it's, it's really far apart. And I was always conscious of that. And that was the problem I had walking the street. Because when they started to talk Sprang Along, somebody go repeat something and say, and that is of no use to me, really. I, Half of the time I don't remember what I say. I read the paper and say, hey, this is good, and turn it up um, just to make a point about something. Now, I made a point in about the intro uh, about you sort of pioneering um, social and political commentary in, in comedy. And, and uh, that sounds like kind of a strange claim to make. But a lot of comedy when you entered the, the arena was, uh, was jokes. Yes, a, bar, a string bar jokes. jokes. Yes, yes. And I remember when, when we first met and, and, and as Dennis Hall, you were extremely funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to tell Tony, this man could yeah. be Trinidad's Richard Pryor. Yeah. And somebody in Antigua said that we do something with Gemini Steel Orchestra and somebody make that point. You know, I never seen a Richard Pryor, so I don't know. Well, you know, <laughs> what I mean is that you, it's not just jokes, but it's experiences, it's personal no, well, stuff, you also it's have commentary to do that. on what's happening. Yeah, around. yeah. No, well, I That's think that's important. Which um, is Calypso, which is where which is you where have your my, relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Tell me something about your relationship with Calypso. Well, um, I like Calypso. Um, Car Singh. Right. So I had to find an next aspect. Though you are a recording artist. Of oh, that's uh, a different thing. Um, <laughs> Kenny, does, uh, Kenny does have me putting in line by line. <laughs> okay. um, 
So Kenny that happened something like a good That's Kenny Phillips. Thing. Yeah, but I can't really sing. Right. So that you have to find a next aspect to get into the thing. Um, I started to look at um, this right guy on Cipriani Boulevard, Crusoe and Sparrow come and tell me I could MC the tent. And that's how I started to MC the tent. Them say I could MC the tent. I, said, I never MC no tent. They said, oh, frighten. And I, and you didn't frighten. I didn't. Well, well it's Spangalang called that. I didn't frighten. Spangalang yes, you do that. It, yes. Not I didn't want to make it. Not Dennis. Dennis. Yes, right. Well, I wouldn't do that. I mean. We're going to take another break and we'll be right back in a minute with Dennis Hall. Stay tuned. <laughs> 